I have to admit, this was my first love-hate champion in League when I first started playing the game. To counter him, pick someone like Fizz who can easily E out of all of his damage, Talon because of his invisibility can tilt Vagar because you can't hit what you can't see, and Zed because of his shadow to juke his stuns and damage dealing abilities make other good counters as well. Cassidy for his ultimate, LeBlanc for her distortion, and Rise for his ultimate, and Root make other good counters as well. Vagar's passive makes him gain ability power per stack of phenomenal evil, which he gets through hitting enemy champions with his abilities, and scoring takedowns grants him 5 of those instantly. His Q is a skill shot strike that will grant him passive stacks when it kills enemies and doubles those stacks against large minions and monsters. His W calls down a splash of dark matter that falls on a target location after a 1.25 delay, dealing massive damage to all enemies hit. His E creates a big wall around a location after a brief delay that remains there for 3 seconds and stuns enemies who pass through it. Finally, his ultimate is a point click ability that deals magic damage to an enemy, increasing its damage by almost double to low health targets. He'll try to cage you and hit you with both W and Q when you're stunned. Don't blindly walk into the wall and prevent this stun. As for spells, he'll take a defensive one like teleport or heal. You on the other hand can bring ignite into the mix if you're planning on jumping his guts. Teleport is as always another great viable option. In terms of power spikes, know that he's a late game monster because of his stacking, but he could already become a beast in the mid game. In his level 1, he'll only be concerned about stacking his Q so there's no real danger, and even levels 2 and 3, he needs you to be stunned to do anything interesting. Level 6, beware of your own health bar and stay back. Ludens grants him the burst he needs to take you down quickly, and Void Staff will make your MR a little bit more useless. He'll be deleting your ADC with a Q ult from the 35 minute mark. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember his W has a very big delay, and you can see where it will land, so dodge it at all costs. His E remains there for always longer than you're expecting. 3 seconds is a lot. And finally, his ultimate cannot be flashed, so don't bother, please. Ultimately, have fun doing it.